Today I'm going to tell you all about the most mysterious and controversial part of the brain, the pineal gland. You may have heard of it as the third eye, and many believe that it's the key or the gateway to spiritual awakening. But I'm here to talk about the true neuroscience of the pineal gland and what we actually know about it. The pineal gland has this spiritual reputation because it produces something called DMT. This is a naturally occurring substance in the brain, but when it's taken orally, it induces very serious hallucinations. If you're wondering, it acts on the same systems in the brain as psychedelic mushrooms. Some meditation practices claim that you can activate your pineal gland through exercises and make it release DMT to open your third eye. Well, the pineal gland's main function is actually to release melatonin, a hormone that regulates your circadian rhythm. So if you were able to activate your pineal gland, you would actually be more likely to fall asleep than to open your third eye. But what about this DMT stuff? I mean, there's gotta be something going on there, right? Well, actually this paper right here showed that rats were able to produce DMT with or without a pineal gland. So evidently there are other sources of DMT in the brain and maybe the pineal gland's a little bit overhyped. There are also scientists who question whether DMT production in the pineal gland is even meaningful. It may not even be enough to induce a psychedelic experience. Wait, 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 but what about this? I heard that it can become calcified. Well, it's true that calcifications actually do occur on the pineal gland. This study found that in 12,000 healthy subjects, 71.6% of them had calcifications on their pineal gland. By the way, calcifications also happen in other parts of your brain and all over your body. This is just a natural process that occurs throughout life, and the most likely outcome is that your pineal gland will be less effective at secreting melatonin, leading to sleep disturbances. There is no evidence linking pineal gland calcifications to changes in spirituality.